All right, the moment has finally come. This came in the mail today, and it's something that I've really been waiting on. It's the new Polaroid Go. This is a brand new type of product from Polaroid. I'm really excited to share this unboxing with you and to talk about the build quality and really what you're getting here from Polaroid. So first of all, this is a very tiny box and a very tiny package for the film compared to what I was expecting. I thought the camera, of course, is going to be small because that's the big thing here, but I also thought that perhaps the box might be big and it'd be one of those experiences where you open it, it's a big box, you open it, and the camera's so small and noticeably small because of the box size. But the box itself is pretty nice. On the side, we've got a few just facts about Polaroid. And then on the other side, it just says Polaroid Go. And on the back, we have a really nice, bright, vibrant uh, sort of picture that's shown to us. And then the little box of Polaroid film. Uh, this is the smallest box of Polaroid film I think I've ever seen. And I love the packaging because a lot of times on the smaller films or even just the film in general for these types of cameras, you don't get a lot of information about what you're buying. And with this one, you do. You know that you're buying color film and you even get an example of what types of photos you'll be able to get right here on the back. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. There's tape on both sides. Okay, this is pretty cool. First thing you see when you open it up is the lens right there staring back at you. There's the camera. This thing is very tiny. Already, we've got a camera strap. It looks kind of like a wrist strap there. A charging cable. It's got probably a million of these things. Why not add another one? Quite a few papers, actually. See what these are. Oh, okay, this is pretty cool. Polaroid has included some stickers, and these are very small stickers. So here's what my guess is. I'm assuming that you can take these stickers and customize the Polaroid by adding these on there if you want to. I'm not gonna do that because I'm a stickler for keeping my equipment looking brand new, and that would kind of ruin what I go for, but that's pretty cool if that's what you're into. And then here we have a very small quick start guide. And I actually really like the design of this because we have a very big picture of the small camera. It's probably life size actually, with all of the different functions and buttons labeled for you. And then on the back we have a step-by-step -step guide on how to get started, how to put your film in. It's even numbered and labeled one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's go ahead and let's turn this thing on, get some film in it. First, I've got to figure out how to get it out. Okay. Wow. I did not realize how small this thing is. After holding so many Polaroid cameras over the years and using so many different Polaroid cameras, this is definitely a first holding something this small. I mean, it quite literally fits into the palm of my hand, and I'm not exaggerating. This is tiny. Wow. I'm gonna do a full review on this later on after I've actually gotten a chance to use this and to test it out in a couple different situations. And I'm going to compare this Polaroid, the Polaroid Go, with the Polaroid Now and other Polaroid cameras so that you actually get a really good idea of the size and the type of photo that it takes. So first thing I'm noticing is mine has a bit of smudging here on the, um, I don't know if you can see it, but over here, on the viewfinder, mine's got a bit of smudging, but that's okay, it's probably something that'll wipe off. Yes, that wiped off very easily. Wow, I'm just amazed. It looks like, I could be wrong, but it looks like there's a film over top of the shutter button. I'm gonna go ahead and try and take that off, but it, as you can see here, there's like a plastic covering there. I hope it's not a situation like the Samsung Galaxy Fold where that was put there intentionally and not meant to be taken off. Getting this off took me about two or three minutes. That was a bit of a pain. I wish it had a, a, like something over to the side where you could just easily tear it off. Whatever. Hopefully this thing's already got a charge on it. Can't turn it on before I put the camera strap on there. And I really like that they picked a bright, bold color to go with this because that's kind of what this camera is all about is being small but still making a statement in terms of what it is, it's a Polaroid camera. And I think Polaroid needs to lean into that a little bit more and continue to make vibrant, bright products that stand out because it's kind of part of the Polaroid brand at this point. All right, this looks good. 
let's hope the pictures it takes are just as nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to try and power this on. There's a nice little power button here on the back. Let's go ahead and press that. Just heard it click something inside the lens, the shutter or something. Um, but as you can see, we've got zero on our film. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Okay. They're all about some stickers. I opened it and it says free stickers inside to display your favorite Polaroid Go moments. So I'm assuming these stickers are meant to be put on the frames and help customize your Polaroid experience a little bit more. Hey, I'm all about adding little fun things like that in. I think it just makes the whole experience all that much more enjoyable. So I wanna make sure that everything is correct with this film when I put it in, because I don't wanna put it in wrong and mess something up at the moment, this being a brand new product from Polaroid. But I'll just show you the film really quickly, what it looks like. It's almost like it slants a little bit. The film pack is definitely not even, which is a very unique design, but I'm guessing that that's how they were able to cram so much film into each pack that's gonna fit into this little thing. All right, so let's open the bottom. There's a little switch right here, pops open, and we wanna insert the film to where the gold sticker is pointing towards the gold sticker here. So as you can see, there's a gold sticker there, gold sticker here. We wanna make sure that those line up. So I'm very glad that they did that. I get a lot of questions in my Polaroid videos about the older Polaroid cameras and what to do if you insert the film wrong. And it's very much a headache, the process to get the film out if you insert it wrong. So I'm not even wanting to experience that with this. Just make sure it lines up the gold sticker with the gold sticker inside. So I shut mine and nothing's happening. It's a little bit concerning. Hmm. If we look inside though, there's quite a bit going on. We've got a mirror. Um, it's almost like an SLR type of experience here that's gonna be going on. All right, let's try this again. All right, I, I guess I just didn't shut it hard enough last time. Look at this. It's got a built-in frog tongue. Now this is great because when it spits out your photo, it shields it from light immediately, which means that you're gonna get a better exposed picture. Your photo's not gonna have all of these weird light leaks and things in it. Um, or it shouldn't, as long as this frog tongue is intact. Don't peel this off, do not pull this off, please. That will ruin probably whatever's inside this camera and it's also going to mess up your, um, your photos once they're developed. So what you do is you just lightly lift it up, it'll go back in and you take the first little flap that comes out. And this is just the slide that goes over top of the film to keep it from being exposed when you're putting it inside of the camera. You wanna just take this and throw it away, you don't even need that. What I'm gonna do now is take a picture with this camera of myself because here's what's cool. This over here to the side, the viewfinder, is also very reflective, which means that they didn't have to add a separate selfie mirror because all that they had to do was make it reflective. It's a genius move from them and I really like that they did it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hold it about arm's length, not on a tripod, although this doesn't seem to have a tripod mount to begin with. One downside there, but this is meant to be taken on the go and you can make a tripod out of just about anything. Put it on a table, put it on a chair. And I love the, the mirror-like effect here where I can see myself in the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and hold it out, take a photo of myself. All right, as with most cameras, you press down halfway to make the autofocus turn on, and you press down all the way to take the photo. So it spit the photo out, I'm gonna leave it there for just a second or two. I'm gonna take it out, wow, this is so tiny. Put it face down somewhere dark so that it can develop. Gosh, I did not realize how tiny these things are. So I'm gonna let this develop. It takes, it says 10 to 15 minutes. Rather than bore you by talking some more, we're gonna wait for this to develop and see how it turns out. I'm so excited about this camera. I hope, and look, we've, we've also got, and I'm glad that they added this in, we've also got our film counter here on the back that tells us how many shots left we have. We're down to seven, which means that it's an eight film pack, which is not bad at all, considering that the price on these, Polaroid did amazing on the price of this film. The 
camera itself, it's made out of like a hard shell plastic, but it's a matte plastic and I've got to tell you, they did a good job. This feels very high quality. What I was worried about was you would get it and it would feel very light and you'd, you'd have it on a lanyard or something and it would probably just float around if it's windy and bump into things and that's not the case here. This is actually pretty sturdy, pretty heavy. I mean, I'm holding it and to me it weighs enough to where I'm not going to forget this. It's not super heavy, but it's also not light. You can tell there's something going on inside this camera, some quality stuff happening. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to just turn my camera off and we're going to wait for that photo to develop. All right, so it's the moment of truth. I just took my first sample photo and I actually took another one right afterwards because I thought, well, maybe one without a flash will develop better. I accidentally took another one with the flash because I found out that if you press the flash button here, there's like a one second delay from the time that you press it. Well, I ended up pressing it again because I thought I didn't press it hard enough and we ended up with the flash on. So I got two photos that are basically the same and then I took the flash off and took one of a plant that's over here to the side. They're a bit dark, but I'll let you be the judge. I'm really, really eager to test this in some good lighting, outdoor lighting. The room that I'm in, it might not look it on the camera, but it's actually pretty dark. There's no lights on or anything, just natural light from the windows. So keep that in mind when you see the photos. I'm sure, I'm absolutely positive that this can take a much better photo. There's the second one where it was basically the same. And then the third one without the flash, which I actually like a lot better because as you can see, it gets the subject a little bit more. Um, it's not as dark, it's still a little bit dark, but again, I'm gonna be testing this out thoroughly for my actual full review. And this is just a first impressions type of video. We did the unboxing, we checked out the camera, we've looked at some of the photos that it takes, and look how tiny these are. I don't know what I was expecting for the size, but I don't think I was expecting it to feel and look this small. I do like that on the back, It says Polaroid film, and then it's got a serial number and some other numbers and stuff on there. So I think that's kind of cool. You, you know that you're actually using a Polaroid uh, with this type of film. And the film even feels a little bit different than the other film. It's not as thick, more flat, I would say, than the other like I-type film that's out there. So it's pretty cool. I'm excited about the size. I cannot wait to get out there in the world and start taking some photos with this thing. And I think in some proper lighting, this is gonna get some good results. It is definitely the size to where you could take this with you just about anywhere and you're not gonna have to worry about carrying around something big and bulky. I love the size of it, I'm so impressed. My first reaction to this is that it's fantastic. I cannot wait to do a full review, but make sure that if you're interested in film cameras and film photography and all that cool stuff, that you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my full review and check out all of the other film related videos on my channel. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you love film cameras and film photography and all that cool stuff and I'll see you guys later.